So the province of New Brunswick has announced a new structure or a new proposed structure for governments in the province of New Brunswick. Now, as it stands right now, on uh, November 20th, uh, 2021, uh, some details have been released in what you're calling it the second white paper on municipal reform. Now, <clears throat> little transparency, I was one of the first journalists to cover one of the merges that was uh, kind of a test case for this back in the early to mid-1990s. Now, the village of Baldoon, or super village of Baldoon, were established with the merge of local unincorporated area areas with the LSC of Armstrong Brook, the village of Baldoon, and the village of Jack River. <coughs> now... <clears throat> Since then, it's worked pretty good, and under reforms, Beldoon will not change. So this is one of the few communities that will not be impacted by the reforms. Now, under the plan announced by the government, previously there was four, 340 local entities in the province, or governments. Now it will be 90. Now, there was 104 pure local governments, including 8 cities, 26 towns, 61 villages, and 8 rural communities in one regional municipality. That will be reduced to 78. Now, there was at one point 236 local service districts. I was chairman of one, the Shalor one that was in the Restigush region between Mountain Brook and Nash Creek. But this will be replaced by 12 new rural districts or super districts composed of remaining local service districts or portions thereof that do not become part of the local government through restructuring. Now, we already know that uh, parts of Restigush East will be, Angler, uh, be under Anglophone or Francophone and maintenance and not uh, join the local uh, francophone acadian or anglophone uh, communities now uh before the proposed restructuring had to be approved by a plebiscite with at least 50 percent of residents voting in favor but under this local governance act is amended to modify the process for future restructuring including removal for for the uh, requirement for a vote now uh, as it stands right now, we don't know if uh, people are in favor or not in favor of that, yet to be determined. So what we do now is break down some of the entities uh, that they're talking about. We're going to start with the RSC1. This is just for public information. I'm not taking any views, uh, good or bad, but we're just going to break it down for you. Entity 1 in the Northwest Regional Service Commission uh, will be a rural community of Old Manawaska and village of Lake Baker, population 4404, with a tax base of 352 million, estimated. Number two will be City of Edmondson, with a portion of the local service district of St. Jacques, 65%, and a portion of the local service district of St. Joseph, 17,800 people, with a $1.54 billion tax base. Number three will be the village of Vivianville, the village of St. Anne de Manawaska, the town of St. Leonard, the LSDs of St. Anne, Notre Dame de Lourdes, uh, St. Lionel, and Rivière Verte, 6,000 people with a $363 million tax base. Number four will be the town of Grand Falls, village of Drummond, the rural community of St. Andre, and portion of the LSD of Drummond, not the village of Drummond, 8,600 people with $867 million tax base. Number five will be the town of St. Quentin, the portion of the local service district of St. Quentin, 95%, and the LSD of St. Martin de Restigouche, 3,600 people with a $257 million tax base. Now, the rural district of uh, that region will include the LSD of De Denmark, portion of the LSD of Drummond, 67%, the local S LSD of Grand Falls, Madawaska, and St. Basil, portion of the LSD of St. Jacques, 35%, portion of the local service district of uh, St. Uh, St. Jacques and St. Joseph, and a portion of the LSD of St. Quentin, 6,600 people, $430 million tax base. Now, RSC2 under the Rescue Regional Service Commission. Here it gets quite interesting. Entity number six will include the rural community of Kedrick, portion of the local service district of Eldon, 2%, LSD of St. Jean Baptiste Manval, and the LSD of Whitesbrook, 2,200 people, $128 million tax base. This is a big change, of course. Listen to this. City of Hamilton, this is number seven. Village of Attaville, Village of Tidehead, LSD of Glencoe, portion of the LSD of Dalhousie, local service district of McLeods, LSD of Dalhousie Junction, portion of the local service district of Balmoral Malte at 20%. 12,300 people with almost a $970 million tax base. Number eight. 
the village of Yorba Crossing, the village of Balmoral, portion of the local service district of Balmoral Malte, 80%, LSD of Blair Athol, and local service district of Balmoral St. Mall, 3,900 people, 23 million taxpayers. Number nine, town of Dalhousie, village of Charlotte, LSD of Point Lenim, portion of the LSD of Dalhousie, 85%, and portion of my LSD, Shalur, I'm thinking Mountain Brook, Blackland side, 5,200 people with $300 million tax base. Now, this uh, rural district includes uh, by two home communities of Gravel Hill and Lorne, LSD of Addington, portion of the local service district of Shalur, 60%, portion of the local service district of Eldon, 98%, LSD of Flatlands, LSD of Lorne, and LSD of Ban Mountain, a rural district, 1,800 people with 82 million tax base, one of the lowest in the province. Now, the Shalur Regional Commission. Village of Bildoon, untouched, 1,400 people, $350 million tax base. The big super uh, rural municipality, of course, Town of Beresford, Village of Nicadu, Village of Pitterche, Village of Point Vert, LSD of Madras, Pitterche Nord, Pitterche Sud, Tremblay, Dunlop, Robertville, and Laplante, and a portion of the LSD of Beresford, excluding Crown Land. So everything from the Beldoon border to the Batters border, one community, 14,282 people, 803 million. Now, number 12, City of Bathurst. Portion of the local service district of North Tenegush, portion of the local service district of Big River, and portion of the LSD of Banners. So 15,000 people, $1.2 billion tax base. Now another rural district will be created, the LSD of Allardville, portion of the local service district of Banners, 32%, portion of the local service district of Bearsford, only remaining is Crown Land, portion of the LSD of Big River, 60% uh, uh, in there, LSD of New Band and Salmon Beach, and portion of the LSD of North Tenegush. Now, the Acadian Peninsula Regional Service Commission. Uh, number 13, the entity will include Batrain, Maisonette, Grand Anne's, and saint louis the villages, the LSD of Poirier, Duga, Annie Bleu, and a portion of the local service district of New Bandon, the outside region, 90%, 3,900 citizens, $179 million tax base. Number 14, Town of Caraquet, Village of Bar Caraquet, LSDs of uh, Polk, Polk Soudé, Saint CMO, Blanchard Settlement, Avangeline, portion of the LSD of Polk Mush, portion of the LSD of uh, Malt and Peck, portion of the local LSD of the parish of Caraquet, and portion of the local service district of Landray Office. Number 15, mostly in the Mech. Village of Saint Body, Saint Raphael, portion of the LSD of Chipagan, with the LSDs of uh, Pointe Cano, Saint Saint Cecile, Paul Pointe Alexandre, Petit Lamec, Haute Lamec, Couture Road, Pigeon Hill, and Cape Bateau will be part of it. 5,246 people, $267 million tax base. Number 16, Town of Chipagan. Village of Le Goulet, LSC of Haute Chipagan, portion of the LSC of Chipagan, with the LSCs of Beda Petit Pocbush, Point Sauvage, Chasson Savoie, and Increment Center, 5,300 people, 379 million. Number 17, Village of Saint Usador, Village of Packetville, LSCs of the Parish of Packetville, Parish of Saint Usador, and LSC of Saint Savoir, 5,065 people, 276 million. Trackity will not be touched. Uh, regional municipality of Trakadi would also already emerged. 16,000 people, $1.1 million tax base. Village of Negwak will not change. 1684 with $131 million. Now, the rural district for that region would include Misco Island, uh, the LSD, the LSD of the Notre Dame de Rable Parish, LSD of Pocmush, Laundry Office, Malton Peck, uh, Parish of Caraquette, and New Bannon, the outside, so just the portions. Uh, almost 2,000 people, 87 million, uh, 87 million uh, tax base. Now, the Greater Miramichi Regional Service Commission, uh, and all this, of course, do not include uh, First Nation communities. Number 20, Local Service District of Alnwick, Al Local Service District of Tabs and Tack, Local Service District of Fair Fairhill, and Local Service District of Oak Point, uh, Barty Park Bridge, 3,600 uh, people, 171 million. City of Mayor Rishi, the already merged, but will take in the local service district of Nelson and the LSD of Newcastle, 18,000 people, 
1571 uh, uh, 1,571,000,000 uh, tax base. Number 22, Village of Blackville, a portion of the LSD of Blackville, Local Service District of Rinus, Quarryville, portion of the LSD of Nordesk, Southesk, Local Service District of Derby, and a Local Service District of Sunny Corner, 7,200 people, $505 million tax base. Now, Doe Town will slightly change. It will take in the portion of the local service district of Blissfield and excludes Crown Land, 1,200 $1, people, $80 million tax base. Rural community of Upper Man Machine, stay the same, 2,200 uh, people, $116 uh, million tax base. Now, the rural district in the region will include the LSD of Basin Ann, LSD of Black River Hardwick, portion of the local service district of Blackville, LSD of Chatham, LSD of Escubinac, uh, the southern, the middle uh, version of New Brunswick, local service district of Ferry Road, Russellville, LSD of Glen Eagle, LSD of Hardwick, portion of the LSD of Nelson, Newcastle, Nordesk, Southesk, and a local service district of St. Margaret's. Now in Kent, the regional server commission. Number 25, Village of Rogersville, LSD of Colette, Akinville, and Rogersville, portion of the LSD of Harcourt, Welford, and St. Louis de Kent, 3,100 people, 139 million tax base. Number 26, Village of St. Louis de Kent, Louis de Kent, a portion of the LSD of St. Louis de Kent, local uh, server district of St. Ignace and Alduan, and portion of St. Charles, 3,600 people, almost a $200 million tax base. In Rishabukto, they will take in St. Charles, LSD, most of it, 2,200 people, $150 million uh, tax base. In Rexton, they will take in the local service district of Rishabukto with a portion of the, the LSDs of Welford and Harcourt, 3,100 people, $295 million tax base. Book Tush, they will take in a portion of the LSD of Wellington and the LSD of St. Anne de Kent, 5,200 people, $456 million tax base. Entity number 30, Village of St. Antoine, the LSD of Grand St. Antoine, portion of the LSD of Wellington and St. Paul, and the LSD of St. Marie, 5,000 people, 316 million tax base. In Cochin, you will take in the portion of the LSD of uh, Dundas, as well as the LSD of Grand Dig, and the district of Shediac Bridge, Shediac River, 7,400 people, 767 million tax base. The rural district in that region will include the portion of the local service district of Harcourt, with the LSDs of Carlton, Point Sapan, Captain Richard Bucto, 1,700 people, $108 million tax base. Now, the Southeast Regional Service Commission will include uh, Entity 32, uh, portion of the LSD of Dundas, St. Paul, and Moncton, with the LSD of Shediac. Uh, 9,000 people, 842 million tax base. Salisbury will take in parts of the LSD of Coverdale, Salisbury, and Moncton. 5,800 uh, people, 455 million. City of Moncton will take in a portion of the local service district of Moncton. 72,000 people, $9 billion tax base. Tyler River will be unchanged. 20,000 people, 16, 1.6 million tax base. City of Dieppe will take a portion of the LSD of Moncton and the LSD of uh, Skuduk. 26,000 people, 3.3 billion tax base. Shediac will take in the LSD of Shediac Cape, uh, Skuduk Road, Point de Chen, and portion of the Skuduk uh, LSD, and 9,400 people, 1.1 billion tax base. 38, the rural community of Bovisan Bo East will be merged with the village of Capilé, 8,800 people, 885 million tax base. Port Elgin will take in LSDs of Bay Verte, Bayfield, Botsford, Cape Tormentine, Westmoreland, and Murray Corner, 1,800 people, 216 million. Sackville will, t oh, Sackville, excuse me, second, I've got to go back here. Uh, Sackville, excuse me, that will take in Dorchester, portion of the LSD of Dorchester, the LSD of Sackville, and the LSD of Pointe de Butte. Uh, 8,352 8, people, 870 million tax base. Member Cook will not change the village, almost 5,000 people, 332 million. 
uh, the, the big in number 42, the villages of Alma, Hillsborough, and Riverside Albert will take in the LSD of Hillsborough, Harvey, Hopewell, and Alma with a portion of the LSD of Coverdale, 5,700 people, 420 million tax base. Petty Kodiak will not change at 1,300 people plus 92 million tax base, while New Rural District uh, comprising a part of uh, Dorchester LSD, the LSD of Elgin, Elgin Center, Elgin Parish, portion of the LSD of Salisbury and Coverdale. Overdale, 4,300 people, 347 million. Now, uh, the Regional Service Commission 8, hasn't been named yet, uh, Entity 44, Sussex and Sussex Corner will, mer will merge with a portion of the LSD of Sussex, 5,700 people, 522 million tax base. Norton will merge with part of the LSD of Springfield and uh, Norton, 3,900 people, uh, 288 million. Now this is the super rural district that we're talking about. The LSDs of Brunswick, Johnson, Cars, Wickham, Cardwell, Cardwell Havelock, Studholm, Sussex, Waterford, Upham, Hammond, and a portion of the LSC of Springfield and Sussex will have a mega, mega rural district, 12,000 people, at 1.6 billion uh, tax base. Now, the Fundy Regional Service Commission, or RS9, will include the village of St. Martin's with the LSCs of St. Martin, Simons, and Fairfield, 5,200 people, $322 million tax base. Number 47, Town of Hampton with the local service district of Hampton and with portions of the local service districts of Kingston and Norton with the LSDs of Rotsay, uh, 8,200 people, 720 million tax base. Now, Town of Quispam Sis will uh, say, uh, excuse me, uh, let me get this uh, correct for you there. Town of Quispam Sis will stay the same, 18,000 people, 1.8 billion tax base. Rotsy will stay the same, 11,659 people, 1.3 billion dollar tax base. City of St. John, uh, only 67,000 people, 7 billion tax base. 51, the town of Granby Westfield and portion of the LSD of Westfield. <coughs> 6,400 people, 520 to $12 million dollar tax base. Uh, a rural district will be created with the LSCs of Petersville, Greenwich, parts of Westfield, and Kingston. 4,200 people, $380 million uh, tax base. So uh, the next one, Southwest New Brunswick Service uh, Commission. Uh, a big uh, region, as you know. Number 52, the LSD of Musquash and the LSD of La Pro, 1,900 people, $614 million tax, tax base. Uh, 53, Village of Blacks Harbor, Town of St. George, portion of the LSD of Penfield, the local service district of Beaver Harbor, local service district of Fundy Bay, portion of the LSD of St. George, and portion of the local service district of St. Patrick, 6,600 people, 554 million tax base. 54, Village of Grand Manan unchanged, 2,300 people, 210 million tax base. Capabello Island will stay the same. On a rural community uh, leisure, 672 people, 98 million tax base. St. Andrews will take in Bayside and Sham Cook LSDs, 2,600 people, <coughs> with 47, 477 million tax base. St. Stephen will join with a portion of the LSD of Western Charlotte, the LSD of St. Stephen, the LSD of Dufferin, portion of the LSD of St. David, and local service district of Dennis Weston, 8,100 people, 611 million tax base. McCann will stay the same at 1,151 people, $50 million tax base. Now the rural district in that region will include the LSDs of Dumbarton, McAdam, West Isles, Whitehead Islands, portion of Penfield, St. George, local service district of St. James, portion of the LSD of Western Charlotte, portion of the local service district of St. David, LSD of St. Croix, and a portion of local service district of St. Uh, Patrick. Now the Camelton Region Service Commission, which is, of course, as you know, the Franklin Region. The village of Harvey will join with the local S LSD of Manor uh, Sutton, 2,100 people, 170 million dollar tax base. Frankton and Junction and Tracy will stay the same, with 704 and 608 people respectively, with 44 million and uh, 26 million tax base. In 62. The rural community of Hanwell will join with a portion of the LSC of Kings Clear, 7,000 people, 769 million tax base. Now, 
63 will include a portion of the LSD of Ruskasonus Wasis and a portion of the LSD of New Maryland, 6,600 people, $561 million tax base. 64, Village of New Maryland, 4,100 people, $365 million tax base. Now, Oromocto will uh, join with uh, mostly the LSD of Lincoln, 12,000 people, $1.4 billion tax base. Cambridge Nairs and Gagetown will join with the LSD of Cambridge and Upper Gagetown, 2,200 people, $257 million uh, tax base. Now, the uh, what was talked about uh, and projected, Minto and Chippen will join together the villages with the LSDs of Chippen, Northfield, Canning, and Sheffield, 5,500 people, 316, 361 million tax base. Stanley will take in part of the LSDs of Stanley, St. Mary's, Estes Bridge, and Douglas, 4,500 people, 333 uh, million tax base. Now, Franklin, a very interesting year. It will take part of the LSDs of Kings Clear, St. Mary's, Estes Bridge, Douglas, Ruskasonis, Wasis, and the LSD of Lincoln, 64,000 people, 8.2 billion uh, tax base. Number 70, local service district Keswick Ridge and Bright with portions of the LSDs of Queensbury, Douglas, and Estes Bridge, 6,400 people, 500, uh, 500 million tax base. Uh, ben Nackwick will join with Millville in part of the LSD of Southampton, 1,800 people, 135 uh, uh, million tax base. Now, the LSDs in that region, uh, big merge here, keep up with me. The LSDs of Burton, Clarendon, Dumfries, Gladstone, Hampstead, Majorville, Newman, Prince William, District of Queensbury, uh, District of Stanley, LSD of Waterborough, Southampton, Sheffield, Canning, New Maryland, Blissville, and rural Elkinson in a rural district that will be twice the size of uh, the Keswick Ridge region and 10 times the size as Nackwick in population and um, uh, tax base, 1.2 billion in a tax base. Now the Western Valley Regional Service Commission, which is Bain Higgs is of course home region. The big one of course was already been announced. The, the super merger between Canterbury and Meductic villages with Benton, uh, LSC of Benton, LSC of Canterbury, LSC of Debec, LSC of North Lake, portion of the service district of Richmond and the LSD of Woodstock, 2,700 people, 2.253 million tax base. Town of Woodstock will take part of Richmond, Wakeville, and a Woodstock LSD, population at 8,600 with 805 million uh, tax base. Hartle will take in the LSD of Subriville, the portion of the LSD of Simons, and a portion of the LSD of Wakefield, 2,600 people, 244 million tax base. Now, the local service district of Northampton, Brighton, and Coldstream will merge with Upper and Lower Northampton, 3,500 uh, people, 200 million tax base. Now, the big, big, big merger up in uh, uh, the Bath region, uh, Florence and Bristol had merged before, so what we have right now is Bath, Florence and Bristol, Centerville, LSCs of Glassville, Upper Kent, Wicklow, Peel, Wilmot, Lakefield, and parts of the uh, Aberdeen, Kent, and Simons LSDs, 9,300 people, 671 million tax base. Up in Aristic, Perth, Andover, they will merge both villages with the LSC of Andover and a portion of the LSC of Perth, 3,100 people, 198 million tax base. Number 78 will be Plaster Rock, who will take uh, part in the, the district of Gordon, 2,400 people, 138 uh, million. The, uh, the rural district in that region uh, will include uh, Aberdeen, Gordon, Kent, the LSD of Lorne in that region, the portion of the LSD, uh, LSD of Bath, and of course the local service district of uh, Riley Brook. So uh, the elections for these new entities, uh, for each rural district, will be in November 22 for mayor and councillors of new newly restructured entities that meet the following criteria. In local governments where there's a population increase of 15 to 50 percent, by-elections will be held to add councillors. In local government where there, there's a population increase of more than 50 percent and two or more local governments are combined, there will be an election for entire council. When there's an increase in population of less than 50 percent, no new elections will be held. Now, uh, as it stands right now, again, everything is uh, projected, uh, uh, not, uh, not uh, tentative. 
but uh, the uh, the idea is there will be a lot of study and uh, announcements as we uh, we come along. <coughs> that now the local service of German districts being released. These are unincorporated parts of New Brunswick that don't they have an advisory board, but they're they're elected at like local meetings. That's going to be all thrown out the window. But how it's split, basically the Anglophone or what they call territorial uh, connections have been kept. There's not really a mixture because the Acadian communities on the North Shore and what they call the English Acadian communities on the uh, rest of Gush County have pretty well stayed the same. The Anglo uh, Belden is considered an Anglophone Acadian community. They stayed all the same, while Lorne and some of the others uh, merged together the LSDs. They were mostly English speaking, and the French or the French Acadian. Stay with it. So all the Canadian communities, but there's a mixture as we go along. So as we stand right now, we're almost 800,000 people in the province that are that need to be represented by these entities. Population increase or decline, especially look at St. John has gone down quite a bit over the years. Uh, Dalhousie region, especially Beldoon, Beldoon LSD. Uh, I mean, choosing Beldoon merge combined, they've lost about 80 percent of the population. Uh, over the last number of years, 60 80 percent due to out, uh, you know, uh, out immigration and passing away. Uh, Dalhousie's down again, Campbellton's down, uh, Batters is down as well. So it'll be interesting seeing what the population increases or decreases. How much of this is this the final one, or will a super community or rural district be merged with a village down the road? But there is no plebiscite on this. If they didn't make an announcement, you can't vote on it unless they have a change of government. But right now, about three or four days in, everybody's really looking looking at the bare bones. Uh, the, the majority of people are talking about it. They're saying it's a wait and see attitude. We, uh, the, the original white paper years ago talked about this. And uh, I, think, uh, I think what we're going to have, if we're going to have more regional development on our rural areas, like you have in Massachusetts, that supply to bigger cities or bigger areas, you need something like this. If anything is done right, it could be a success. I'm not judging yes or no. I know when we merged our LSD, we got more done, but we weren't elected. When Beldoon merged Armstrong, Brook, Jackaroo, Beldoon, the back settlements, Mitchell, Beckerville, Sunnyside, whatever, they got a lot done. The only problem, a lot of people know about Attleville and, and uh, Camelton. Councils have not gone along through, through the years. Over the Civic Center controversy, I covered a lot of that. So it was yet to be seen. All I can say for the North Shore, I really thought they were going to keep Balloon as is. And I know uh, one of the mayors up there, Paul Arsenal Balloon, said it was good news for Balloon. I would like to see Balloon merge with uh, the area from Blackland all the way down to the Nash Creek border. But like I said, it's we have good cooperation. We're not going to be mad or sad uh, that it wasn't merged. Like I said, the government, I think, uh, uh, did something that needed to be done. But yeah, like I'm not a rural planner. I can't, I can't give a judgment, uh, yes or no, because again, it all works together. Three things work together: property assessment, tax base, and population. And all that's very fluid. So that's in a, in a half an hour version of all the changes. If you can keep up, you're better than me. I hope you enjoy the podcast. Again, this is for information purposes, and a lot of people maybe didn't have the list of the communities uh, read out in the media, here you have it. Have a nice day, and don't forget, be safe out there, get informed, get active in local politics, no matter if it's a merge or not. It's important. Bye.